Right, stable chat. Uh, catching up with Luke Tabone. Hello, Luke. Yes, hello, Paul. How are you? Well, very well, mate. We're about to, are we? I was going to say we're in Bacchus Marsh, but we're a little way out of Bacchus Marsh. Is that right? Yes, it's uh, Ingleston is the uh, area. And, yeah, just about uh, 10, 5, 10 minutes from the Triton track down the bottom. At, at Bacchus Marsh. Anyone wondering, what, about 30 minutes from Melton, I suppose? Yeah, half an hour, half an hour from Mountain, half an hour from Geelong. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty central. Ballarat would be, what, an hour, would it? Uh, 40 minutes as well yeah. to Ballarat. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Good little place, and you work in Melbourne, so it would actually fit in pretty well uh, with yourself. Yeah, oh, it's probably a little bit further than I would like to work, but, uh, yeah, it's about 50 minutes to get mm. to work, yeah. 100 and something acres? Yeah, just over 100 acres. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, most of it's pretty flat, but the back of it drops down a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Um, you're here with mum and dad. Laura as well, and we'll touch on Laura in a sec, and um, I've just done an interview with her and that, but setting this place up to train standard breeds from? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we've been here almost a year, almost a year now. We've had the property for a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, just setting up slowly, slowly, and um, yeah, well, eventually, you know, who knows, might go into it full time one day, but um, yeah, as you know, just at the moment, we're just doing it as a hobby and we're enjoying it, so it's good. Great little shed we're in here, um, four walking walkouts off the side of it, but you said to me there before, and I'll touch on the track in a sec, but you said one day you went out on the track and nearly got blown out just sitting in the track. It does get windy. You need somewhere like this. It's, you, know, you can do everything in here out of the wind. Yeah, exactly. No, the shed's, um, the shed's great. It's, yeah, you don't get wind in here, and it's uh, really good. We've sort of set it up, you know, depending on wh which way the wind goes, the yards are on that side, and... Um, you know, the horses are well protected from the wind as well and the weather. So, but yeah, we're up a fair bit here and your ears do pop sort of coming up the hill and uh, yeah, it does get pretty windy as well. The, the walk-in, walk-outs are outstanding too because there's two gates, you can go out straight out if you like and then, then come in. I, I reckon it's awesome. And the other part I do like, like, well, anyone can feed, but I think it's something some people should be thinking about, especially, you know, as it gets harder and harder to get people to with horses and that, be able to feed them without touching them and yeah. uh, without moving far and, and travelling all over the side. But um, they're almost an outside yard as well as, you know, nice and warm inside yards. Yeah, they are. There's a bit of shelter there for them and, um, you know, eventually we'll do the um, yards up outside and we'll put a bigger yards out there and they can go out there for a little, you know, run during the day and, and that sort of stuff. And, yeah, we've just got the flexibility of bringing them in or having them outside as well. Track looks good. Um, you must be wrapped in the track. Uh, just over 900 metres? Yes, yes, about 900 metres. Um, yeah, just just wrapped. The track's perfect. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of a incline in the straight. Um, but other than that, it's just it's just perfect. You can work what you want. And there's a fair bit of topping on there at the moment. Um, horses seem to like it, so that's really good. Horses definitely like it. You must be wrapped with how the team's going. Yeah, it's, um, it's a big upgrade having them here than our last property um the track wasn't the best there and that so no they've definitely appreciated you know coming to a nicer track and nicer setup as well and they're going they're going great you know train how many, how many actually do you have in work six seven we just got five in work at the moment we did get up to eight at one stage um but yeah doing it full time it's it's a bit much especially during winter so we cut you know put a couple out in that lately um but yeah we're just doing five at the moment and yeah they're going well your dad get up every morning Yes, ridiculous hours. We're up, uh, you know, roughly about three o'clock. We're out here in the mornings and um, we're working before work. Um, yeah, most of them are done by six thirty, seven o'clock. <laughs> sort of fun and crazy at the same time. Yeah, it is um, possibly looking at maybe getting some lights put sort of out near the track. Um, yeah, we're sort of doing it right at the moment and, you know, done it for long enough in the dark and we fast, oh, I fast work in the dark anyway, Dad doesn't, but... Um, yeah, you sort of get used to it. That's craziness. Yeah, you know, you get used to the times and what you have to work and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah. It's it doesn't stop your horses. It doesn't stop your horses because, I mean, your horses are always super consistent anyway. But, like I said, you know, Parklands went in the other night at Melton. Uh, you, you had another winner um, like a week or two earlier than that as well. Like, they're, they're in great form. They are, yeah. Yeah, no, we try. Um, they're, they're going consistent and, uh, you know, there's a nice team of horses as well, like... Um, We've bought horses from the sales in New Zealand just recently as well, but, you know, they sort of all sort of doing a good job. It takes a little bit of time when you're getting them from the sales and that sort of thing, but uh, they're doing a good job. Do you, do you have, like, a goal? Like, um, are you happy just working and doing this? Or, like you said there before, maybe doing it full-time? Like, is that your ultimate goal? 
Possibly. Um, you know, the, you, you've got to have things set up right. Um, you've got to have the right team of horses, the right property as well, um, which is what we do have and what we're looking at setting up here as well. Um, so maybe one day, you know, next couple of years or something, that it could definitely be an option. That's, that's exciting and it's good for the industry. There's a lot of people you know, shying away from that side, so I think it's good that you're embracing, one, the way the horses are going and then prepared to keep up in the ante. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, Dad's very passionate about it. We, we do them together and that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, we've got the right set up and if we can have the right team of horses, then, yeah, why not? He doesn't want. He was, he's not talking to me. He wanted me in for a cup of coffee, and I kept saying, "No, I'll keep going because I've got to keep travelling." But he was, he, he's very, very passionate. He's keen on his coffee too. I reckon he must make a mean coffee, does he? Oh, uh, he doesn't miss out on a coffee every morning. <laughs> he brings about here. There's probably a couple of cups lying around and that that you know he puts on the rails. I can't believe his cup hasn't been knocked over yet by one of the horses. But yeah, no, he doesn't miss out on a coffee. That's for sure. A couple of major like, achievements, I suppose, but um, good mate of yours, Chrissy Elford, good mate of everyone's, but um, to have trained that 8,000th winner um, at Ballarat, I think from memory it was. Um, yeah. It must have been a great thrill for you, you guys as a family um, and that, but something you, you know, you'll be able to cherish for a long, long time. Yeah, we've got a couple of nice memories with Chris. Um, it was only a week or two earlier. He, um, you know, the cart snapped on him on, on, on Park Lane as well. Um, <laughs> We actually got his last two winners before um, 8,000 and we didn't think we were going to get the uh, 8,000th winner. That's right at Benigo because I think I did a, a yeah. little reel and, uh, and he came back with one and then, yeah. he, then he had a little way of nothing happening. Yeah, and then we got the, the last two, I guess, to get him to 8,000. So, no, that was really good. And, um, yeah, no, nah, Chris is a great driver and great bloke as well. And, yeah, super competitive. Give you good feedback too, I'd imagine, with your horses and, and probably understanding where you guys are trying to get. Yeah, exactly. No, he does. Um, yeah, no, he's great. He, he looks after him, and um, no, nah, he he always drives him really well. Yeah, mate. Um, been here. I've actually been interviewing Laura Barrell. Um, your life changed a little bit. I, I it was New Zealand Cup last year. Um, you're across there. You might have been courting a young lady um, at the time. Um, it's amazing how it was polite, wasn't it? The way I said that. You're like what? Um, it's amazing how your life. Uh, can change. Um, it changed pretty dramatically, what, about eight, nine, ten weeks ago? Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, Laura was involved in an accident. She was she was kicked in the face by a horse, and, um, yeah, it was pretty scary getting the phone call about it. Um, she was flown to a Royal Melbourne hospital. Um, yeah, she stayed in there for two months. Um, at first, yeah, we, we didn't know. She's very lucky to be alive, and she's come out of it pretty well after a couple of months now. But, uh, yeah, just just very scary and, yeah, tough couple of months as well. I think hats off to yourself, Mum, Dad yeah. um, and everyone. She's sitting over there. She can't actually hear us. She actually even looks like she's half tearing up. But, um, uh, yeah, it's, she's someone I got to meet um, a couple of times, one through Duns and then just been able to do interviews and she's quite passionate, passionate horse person as, as well. I'm going to embarrass you a little bit. Chocolates, flowers, things like that. No, you had to go one better. You had to fly the horse out of you? I mean, seriously, like, <laughs> you know, you don't think, you know, maybe putting a bunch of flowers on the, on, the, on the hospital bed would have been okay, but instead you had to make sure the horse was here when she um, got out of hospital? Yeah, it, uh, it worked out pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, it, it was Dad's idea and it sort of come across my mind as well, you know, getting the horse over here for her for when she was, um, you know, due to come out of hospital and that. But, uh, yeah... The timing was just perfect. The flight nearly got delayed and the engine was um, stuffed on the plane when he was meant to come and it was delayed and I thought, gee, he's not going to be here, she's going to be here before he is. But, um, yeah, no, it worked out perfect. I reckon it's good money and romance is never dead. I've got courting, I've got romance, chocolates, the whole, whole box. I think you're even going to be embarrassed by this. <laughs> yeah, I am a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's, it was great. It was a great surprise and, um, yeah, it just can't believe no one let it out and uh you know it, it was a surprise she had no idea about it as well so no, that was really good good assistance from some of the kiwis i think um irt and um majestic horse floats i think yep i tried not to tell them either so no one really knew about it yep. <laughs> uh you know um but yeah no they were great organizing everything so no yeah. hats off to them
Uh, well done, mate. Well done for the way the team's going too. Doing a great job. Love the way you present them at the races. Clean, tidy. Uh, it's cool. Good family. Um, good family involvement as well, which is what we want in this industry and aspiring to get bigger, which is we need more people like you um, in the industry, mate. Really appreciate it. Well done. You've been working all day today too and you got back for this interview. It is a Saturday afternoon, so uh, thank awesome. you very much for coming back. I was rushing the whole way home. <laughs> <laughs> You've done your makeup on the way here? Yeah, I did. I had to. <laughs> Lukey, thank you very much, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Cheers.